Rhonda Sciartino endured 17 years of chronic pain. She'd given up hope that she would ever be healed. In fact, she'd even forgotten what it felt like to be really free of pain. But then one day something happened for which Rhonda's doctor said there is no medical explanation. It was 1986 when a simple drive to run a few errands turned into a nightmare for Rhonda Shortino. Another car ran a stop sign and was headed straight toward her. I veered into oncoming traffic and, and veered back to not be hit. She missed the other car, but jumped the curb and stopped abruptly, severely jarring her neck. She was taken to a nearby hospital complaining of sharp pains in her head and neck and was diagnosed with a concussion and released. I would tighten up and scrunch up and, and then I would have muscle uh, spasms in my neck and shoulders and, and down through my upper back. One of the manifestations that happened that I didn't even realize was that I constantly had this look on my face, like angry. Not only was she still in severe pain, but it never went away. Over the period of maybe three or four years following that, I saw lots of different doctors and tried physical therapy and tried various things. Nothing was effective. More MRI tests revealed two degenerated discs and a pinched nerve. I felt like uh, the answer from all of them seemed to be that I wasn't a great candidate for surgery. Uh, that the risk-benefit analysis didn't make sense. A surgery uh, could be more damaging than, than what it might do good. The risks included paralysis or death. So really all they had for me was to take pills. As a Christian, Rhonda poured her heart out to God. Oh, let's see, I went through pleading with God. Uh, I tried begging and then I bargained. I just tried everything I knew to try in terms of my conversations with God. And I thought, well, maybe this is that thorn in the flesh. Maybe I'm not gonna be delivered from this. So, so maybe I'm just supposed to learn how to deal with it. So that's what I did. Then in 2005, 17 years after the accident, Rhonda went to an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Chris Chalian. He sent her to see Dr. John Sasaki, a pain management specialist at Casa Colina Hospital in Pomona. He decided to use Botox injections that have been proven to help people with chronic pain. When he walked back into the room, I mean, I wasn't boo-hooing, but, but water was just flowing out of my eyes because for the very first time in 17 years, I felt no pain. I'd forgotten what it felt like to not feel pain. But there was a catch. He said, it's not permanent. It's going to wear off. You're going to need to come back every month. And he said, be sure to come back before the month. Because he said, if you wait too long, the pain is going to come back and it's going to hit you like a freight train. That freight train never came back. In a few months, she went back to Dr. Chalian for a follow-up visit. She says he was astounded. Based on his review of the MRI and his diagnosis, he really thought that I would be working with Dr. John Sasaki and Casa Kalina to manage the pain really for the rest of my life. He just was delighted. He was, he was delighted and said, wow, I mean, there is no medical explanation. He said, for what you're telling me. Rhonda has been pain-free since 2005. She and her husband, Nick, are thankful for God's healing. One of the conclusions I've drawn from this whole experience is that we have a role in, in the receiving of our miracles. And not necessarily that we have to have, you know, some great faith. I didn't have great faith. I was a Christian, but I wasn't, I wasn't believing for my miracle. I was hoping for, you know, a little bit of relief from pain. I just settled. I settled for less than what God had for me. And I can assure you, I'm not settling for anything anymore. 
my heart breaks for people who have gone years and years and years in pain. For people for whom there's no cure. The doctors say there's no help, there's nothing we can do, because I've heard those words. But there is hope and there's it's never too late for God and if he could heal me then he can heal anyone who's watching this he's no respecter of persons his power is the same today as it ever was we don't have to beg him to do what he wants done good health, good relationships, peace and joy and financial provision. He wants that for all of us. So that's what I hope people hear from me. I hope you heard that loud and clear. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. Well, today we want to encourage and build your faith and we want to ask for you and also with you. Ask the Lord to do the miraculous in your life. Here's Alan. He lives in Hawthorne, California. Listen to this, Gordon. He tore the meniscus in both knees and had oh. arthritis set in. After undergoing physical therapy for a year, he finally scheduled an appointment for knee surgery. On March 13th, this past March, only 12 days before that operation was to be performed, he was watching this program. Gordon, you gave this word of knowledge. Problems in both your knees, pain. You're looking at surgery and you're wondering what to do. God has heard your cries. Stand up, begin to move those knees, and realize you are healed in Jesus' name. Alan claimed the word for himself, canceled the surgery. The next month, when his doctor examined his knees, he smiled and announced, they're good. Alan hasn't had any problem with them since <laughs> then. Praise the that Lord. That is a miracle. Here's another one. Monique from Spring Valley, California, suffered from migraine headaches for 34 years. They grew more and more frequent until she was averaging a migraine nearly every other day. Some were so severe that she couldn't see or move at all. She was often taken to the emergency room where she would be heavily sedated. Then last February, Monique was watching the 700 Club. Terry, you gave this word. Someone else with migraine headaches be set free now. And God has taken that away from you. Well, Monique claimed the word for herself. She soon realized that she wasn't having migraines anymore. And now, four months later, she's still migraine-free. In Rhonda's story, there's, there's a progression she goes through. She says, first, I pleaded, then I begged, and then I bargained. Realize that each time you're doing that, you're actually confessing unbelief. You're saying Jesus didn't do it. I've somehow I've got to convince God that I'm good enough or I've got to, you know, get on his good graces or, you know, I've got to trade something for this. No, Jesus did it all. And his promise to you is if you abide in him and his words abide in you, you will ask whatever you want, whatever you want. Realize that when God answers prayer in Jesus' name, Jesus gets glorified. Jesus gets glorified. He wants to do that. We don't have to convince him. He wants to do it. So how do you abide? Well, the same way you're sitting in your chair. There's no effort to it. You're just sitting in the chair. Just rest in him. Rest in the finished work of the cross. And then let his words be in you. Be healed. Let that word be in you and realize he's already done it. Now we're gonna pray, we're gonna believe. That's all we have to do. We're just gonna believe, we're gonna rest in that and let Jesus do all the rest. Let's pray. Lord, we lift the needs of the audience to you and his people are just resting in you, resting in the finished work of the cross. We just speak to all pain and we speak especially to muscle pain in the neck mm -hmm. and in the back and those spasms that come and that chronic pain, in Jesus' name, be released from it now. Be healed and be set free from it. The spirit of infirmity leave you now. In Jesus' name, depart and let peace come and healing come 
in the name of Jesus. Terry, what do you mm, have? Someone your left ear, you were really losing hearing. Mm. It's just popped. God opened that up for you. It's healed mm. in Jesus' name. Uh, there are many people with back conditions. There's one in particular where you've had this, uh, like a spike of pain right in the middle of your shoulder blades. God's just released that from you. All that tension is just dropping off of you. Raise your arms and begin to praise the Lord. For others, begin to do what you couldn't do before and realize God has healed you. If you've been touched by God, we want to share in your good report. We want to let others know, so call us 1-800-759-0700.